Hey everybody, so today I have kind of an interesting workaround to share with you all. Uh, so it's how to flatten a 3D CAD file uh, using Revit. So if you've ever received a CAD file from a design partner or client expecting, you know, something just a simple 2D drawing, uh, but to find out that when you open it, it's got 3D, or it's not necessarily 3D, but has lines floating all over the place. Um, and even after uh, going in there and using like typical commands like flatten, flat shot, or changing the elevation of everything to zero, uh, you still might um, have things that are, that are floating all over the place. Um, I don't typically work in AutoCAD, and in my, uh, in my situations, we're usually linking in AutoCAD into Revit uh, and doing our modeling. Uh, so we may get something from the architect and link it in. And we don't want those lines and all those things floating all over the place. It can mess up view ranges and stuff for some of our views. And so flattening them is really important. And so by uh, so after doing those commands, if nothing works, by linking it into Revit, you can export that out pretty easily and have uh, a nice 2D drawing. And it's pretty pretty simple. Um, so in this example file I've got here, it's Revit 2024, I've got an export from the, um, the, the, the Autodesk sample file, uh, the Revit 2024 Revit um, architecture file. So I've only got part of the building, like you see here, so the top half of it. And if we go into the level one plan, we can see um, uh, we can see the CAD file right here and if you go to file and then export and then the CAD formats and then DWG I'm going to close out of that uh, we'll leave that as is click next so this is important uh, so make sure to uncheck uh, this export views on sheets and links as external references if you do that it will export out another th 3d CAD file and so I've got one right here as an example so 3d CAD file export from Revit uh, one thing to note which is kind of cool is that this is 51 kilobytes and it looks almost exactly like this one that's uh, 10 megs so um, I, I thought that was interesting. If you happen to get a really big file, CAD file, it might be worth bringing it in and exporting it. You might lose some data. I'm not 100% sure what's happening there. I haven't compared the files, but at least visually in Revit, they look very similar. They look the same. And so it might be helpful if you get a large file to convert it that way uh, to just reduce the size. So anyways, uh, when you're exporting this, just make sure uh, this is unchecked. And then I'm just going to have that automatic. And then I'll click OK. So that's going to export. And then now if we go to, just to really show you, I'm going to link it into this. So I'm going to go to the Manage tab. We'll go to Manage Links, CAD, Formats, go to Add. I've got it right here, so this is the export. We'll see that something came in, but if we move this out of the way, we'll see that that's a 2D file. So that's like, that's pretty much perfect. Um, so this file wasn't built, so the example I shared of, you know, having some lines, this is a 3D CAD file. Um, and so this isn't a perfect one-to-one -one example, but if you have a file with some floating lines and it looks exactly how you expect it from the top view, then when you run this export, everything should look correct. All the lines should be at zero and, it, and perfect. Whereas this, because something, because this is in 3D, some things just don't look correct. Um, but... But yeah, so anyways, that's kind of it. Just real quick, 
showing that. It might help you in those weird examples that the native stuff in AutoCAD, so the native functions like flat shot and flatten don't work. Um, and uh, yeah, so hopefully this, this kind of helps you. I'd love to know if you use AutoCAD a lot and haven't ran into this issue or have and have uh, better workarounds for it. Um, you know, feel free to comment below so other people can see that and learn from it. And yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.